Well, there was certainly a lot of concern by the Cyclones coming into this game with North Dakota State. Might look like one of those teams on the schedule that not a lot of fans know about, but inside the game of college basketball, there are a lot of folks that know about the Bison. This is a team that knocked off number eight Marquette. With Paul Splitorf, I'm Dave Armstrong. So all that having been said, this is an impressive win for the Cyclones today. Dave, I think when you take a look at these two teams, you're going to say really North Dakota State, as far as big picture in the program, is ahead of Iowa State where they are right now because some guys have been in that program for a couple of years. They've got their system in place. Everybody knows where everybody else is going to be. And Iowa State at this stage, you know, you do this your preseason, a lot of new players, an entirely new system. I think Iowa State kind of feeling their way along a little bit. And I think we saw that a little bit, especially on the offensive end. North Dakota State seemed a, a lot more precise with their offense, more comfortable, more fluid. It seemed to have good tempo and pace to it. Iowa State at times did struggle. Like, guys are still searching a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's going to take a while. It's not easy to get it done in a in quick pace. Well, they got it done today with a nice uh, final route here of North Dakota State in their final non-conference game of the year. It was Iowa State able to win this one by the final score of 67 to 54. Iowa State next up for them. Conference play begins in the Big 12 in Columbia at Missouri. So that game will be right here on the Cyclone Television Network beginning next Saturday at 5 o'clock January 6th. Once again, our final. Iowa State wins this one 67 54. For Paul Splitter and our entire crew at Ames, good night and happy new year.